Hello guys and welcome back to Nat 4 Islands Living. Today I am very excited as I will be talking about a topic that is very very dear to my heart. Most of you who have followed my channel know that I love to cook. And today I'm going to be talking about herbs, spices and seasoning blends. And of course, these are the base of what we use when we're cooking so that we are ensured to get the burst of flavor and the unique tastes that we love in our food. I'm going to be walking you through some of these herbs and spices, some of which I have in my own kitchen and in my backyard. But also, I am super duper excited because I will be doing an unboxing of some seasoning blends from the Caribbean Kitchen's food. Please stay tuned, this is going to be a lot of fun. As you can see here from my pantry, I use a variety of seasoning blends pre-made to ensure that my food comes out tasting right every time. So I have gyros, bifteki, souvlaki, you name it. Whatever foods I like, I have a seasoning blend that I will use on those foods. And aside from these dry seasoning mixes, I also use wet rubs. But today I'll be focusing on these dry seasonings as well as the herbs that I keep close to and in my kitchen. So I have nutmeg and cinnamon, but outdoors I also grow a variety of herbs which I love to mix together and add to my dishes to give that organic and fresh taste. So let's step outside and look at some of the herbs that are growing in my garden. I can't pretend it Also, in smaller pots, I have some seedlings, and these are just starting to grow, and so we won't be able to identify them yet by their true leaves, but I know exactly what is in each planter pot. Aside from these herbs, I always have in my pantry onion and garlic. I just have not had any luck growing them on my own, but they are absolutely essential to almost every meal that I prepare in this kitchen. So now that I've shown you all most of the seasonings and spices and herbs that I have in my pantry and in my backyard, let's get back to unboxing these seasoning blends from Caribbean Kitchen as well as to talk generally about seasonings, spices, herbs, and how these blends are made. Oh wow, look at this packaging. Look at these bright, beautiful colors that just scream Caribbean countries. Green, gold, black, and of course, red. Awesome. Also, the packaging that holds, the containers that hold the, the seasoning blends are also beautifully colored um, in black, green, gold, and red. There's a thank you card here as well in the package. And a contact um, card that is also quite neat. Um, the colors sparkle. And as an extra bonus, we also get a key ring which says Caribbean Kitchens and also has the contact details on it. So the whole thing just looks great. Even before I get to actually starting to talk about the seasoning, I must say that the packaging and everything that is included in this box is quite impressive. But now onto the seasoning blends. As you can see, Caribbean Kitchens does four distinct seasoning blends. These are the curry, fish seasoning, chicken seasoning, and the famous jerk seasoning. 
The Caribbean kitchen blends are unique because they are authentic, 100% Jamaican seasonings. Also, they are low sodium, they have no cholesterol, and they have no MSG. In other words, they are a healthy blend of spices crafted to deliver a mouthful of flavor with each meal. Salt, of course, plays an important role in enhancing flavors and balancing out of different notes in herbs and spices. However, we all know that too much salt is a health concern. And that is why this line of seasoning, the Caribbean Kitchen, have been crafted to use just the right amount of seasoning and salt to deliver the taste without the health risk. Let's start by talking about the curry. Curry originated on the Indian subcontinent. It is a blend of spices which almost always consists of coriander, turmeric, cumin, and red chilies. However, different countries of course have their own spin on the curry blend and they may add or subtract spices to suit their own taste buds. For example, some curry blends may contain tomatoes or may have a higher or lower percentage of peppers. There are also curry paste which can be identified by colors such as yellow curry, red curry and green curry. Chili powder is the main ingredient in red curry which gives it its bright red color. Turmeric is the chief ingredient responsible for the yellow color in yellow curry. Cilantro, kaffir, lime leaf and basil will give a green color to the green curries. In fact, some curries may have a very brown color and this may be due to adding peanut powder, tamarind or other spices. Although the Jamaican curry is not the most popular in the world, its unique blend has earned it a coveted spot in the world of curries. With just the right amount of scotch bonnet pepper, ginger and pimento berries, the Jamaican curry is well sought after worldwide. The Caribbean Kitchen Curry Blend relies heavily on the Jamaican tradition to ensure a mouth-watering experience every single time you cook your curry. Whether you are cooking curry chicken, curry goat, curry fish, or any other curried meal, be sure to grab a bottle of this blend the next time when you hit up the stores. Now let's look at fish blends. Fish dishes will vary in taste depending on the type of fish and whether those fish were caught in sweet water or salt water, whether they were wild or farm grown. All of this will affect the taste of the fish. However, spices are used to accentuate or complement the natural flavors of fish. Spices such as lime, lemon or citric essence will give fish a bright, fresh taste. Dill, thyme, paprika, mustard, parsley, oregano or tarragon are a few spices that can be used to lend a nutty, sweet, earthy or spicy flavor to fish dishes. The Caribbean Kitchen Fish Blend is a good base blend for most fish dishes. It can be used by itself or combined with other herbs and spices to deliver the exact stimulation of palate that we're going for. Now that we have covered fish blends, and in particular the Caribbean Kitchen Fish Blend, let us now move on to the Chicken Blend. Chicken is one of the most versatile and most eaten meats. Base seasonings such as onion, garlic, paprika, thyme, and pepper are sufficient to make a tasty chicken meal. And this is why chicken is a go-to. But if you want to spice your chicken up even more, add celery salt, basil, rosemary, and sage. These spices will infuse the fowl with savory, spicy, sweet, or herbaceous notes. The Caribbean Chicken Blend 
contains spices which of course are common in the Caribbean region and so it is natural to expect hints of cinnamon, nutmeg and ginger in this blend. Use this chicken blend to prepare tasty chicken dishes that your entire family will enjoy. Now this brings us to the last seasoning blend in the Caribbean Kitchen Foods package and it is the Jerk Seasoning. The Jerk Seasoning is my absolute favorite seasoning blend in the entire world. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jerk Seasoning originated on the island of Jamaica. And every time you taste this seasoning, the entire flavor, the culture, everything that makes Jamaica, Jamaica is wrapped up in this seasoning blend. Although it is now known as a spice blend, jerk is originally a method of cooking meat by slow roasting it over open flames. The wood used to cook the meat came from a specific tree known as the pimento berry tree. As the wood burned, the flavor and the smoke from the pimento tree infused the meat. The meats were also seasoned with the berries from the pimento tree. In other countries, this berry is known as allspice. In Jamaica, it is the pimento berry. To a large extent, this method of preparing jerk still exists on the island. However, in many regions where the method of cooking is not convenient, the flavor of the jerk is maintained through the dry and wet seasoning blends that are made worldwide. The spices and herbs used in jerk seasoning are those which are naturally and readily available on the island. They include cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, thyme, scotch bonnet pepper and of course pimento berries. Those of us who like to really explore and get creative in the kitchen will also drop a toops of red striped beer in our blend. Well, this is just a part of what makes the Jamaican jerk seasoning blend unique. So if you're craving those island flavors and just a way to take your cooking from drab to fab, remember to pick up these Caribbean kitchen blends. Make them a regular addition to your pantry. Use them on your meats, on your fish, on your vegetable meals. Get creative with them to ensure that each time you present a meal to your family, to your guests, you will be giving them a wow factor from the island. And not only will you be treating your family, your guests, your friends with a taste of the islands, but you will also be giving them a healthier alternative to seasoning blends. So if you see these seasonings in your local market or online, be sure to pick them up and comment below. Having tried them, let me know how you like this particular Caribbean Kitchen Seasonings blend. And guys, this is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, if you now know more about spices and spices blend, where they come from, how they originated and how they are put together, then please give me a thumbs up share the video with your friends and subscribe to my channel until next time walk good